OK, today was day six of the World Cup. Um, three games today. First game of the day was Colombia and Japan. Japan won 2-1. Uh, poor discipline by Colombia has cost them. Uh, player sent off in the first three minutes. Penalty taken early on. Uh, Colombia then can get back with it. All the, all the goals from that one came from set plays. Uh, corner, free kick and a penalty. Colombia, big name team. And yet another big name team uh, getting off to a losing start. It's a trend here. Some of the bigger names are, are struggling in this tournament. Uh, so Colombia have got a hard right ahead of them. Uh, the Japanese won the game. I didn't see the game. I've seen the highlights. I've seen bits of the game. 2-1, top of the group. Um, beating a big name nation like Colombia. And, and winning. That was the important thing. And they did have to play against 10 men for most, well, 87 minutes. And they dealt with that as well. Because sometimes that can be harder than playing against 11. They overcame a very tough opposition. Colombia have never got out of the group after losing the first match of the tournament. So, odds are against them there. Poland have also lost 2-1 at Senegal. I watched this game. Well, the most of it. I, I missed the first 20 minutes. First half, not really an event until near the end. Senegal get a lucky own goal there. Polish player puts it in his own net. Ricochet. Um... When the ball's going wide, he couldn't get out of the way of it, to be honest. Um, unfortunate. Chesney in goal was stranded. Um, Lewandowski did force a good save out the Senegalese goalkeeper. Then there's the back pass. Oh, yes. That back pass. Um, really not paying attention to where the Senegalese winger is who's coming back on the pitch after treatment. Carries on with the back pass. The other defender's not even looking behind him over his shoulder. He's, he's looking at sh away from Chesney. He's seen the ball come over. He's like, right, I'm going to let that bounce. And I'm going to clear it over to, to the far side of the pitch. Senegalese players raced in, nicked the ball, got in front of Chesney, made Chesney look simple, made the defender look simple, made his teammate look simple, and he's put it in there. Um, the Polish response came too little too late. The last five, ten minutes, they, they get the goal and they, they just besiege the Senegalese goal. It's too little too late. Because of their sloppiness in the previous 75, 80 minutes, they, they, they get beaten. And Senegal deserved that win. They showed more passion, they showed more drive, and they showed more togetherness. And the celebrations at the end say a lot. The Russia-Egypt game was the game that everyone was looking forward to tonight, because Mo Salah was starting. And the first half ended 0-0. It was a pretty even contest. Um, high energy, no end product. But the effort was there from both sides. You're not going to get a, 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 a shot you know, a shot fest every time. Second half, the 17 minutes spell, the Russians get three goals. That kills the game dead. Zuba with, I think, the pick the best, the chest control, the chip round the defender, the, the touch the defender, and the finish. Uh, for a big, big centre forward who's six foot four, six foot five, to have twinkle toes like that and skill like that, um, pretty good finish, pretty calm finish. That put them three up. Yes, Mo Salah gets his goal, they get a penalty, they are working again. Um, but Russia now topped the group. Uh, you know, they, they played twice, won twice, scored eight goals in two games, conceded one. Uh, there was a lot of concerns about the Russian team coming to the tournament, they hadn't, they hadn't won in seven. They've now won two in a row, They're, they've got momentum, they're the highest scoring team so far in the tournament. If you go by averages, that's they average four goals a game. They are streets ahead the rest of their group. Uruguay uh, laboured against Egypt. This Russian team didn't. This Russian team completely outfought and outworked this Egyptian side by the end. So I'd be interested to see how Uruguay uh, go against Saudi Arabia, considering what you know, Russia did to the Saudis with a 5-0 win. Uh, bear in mind they've got Suarez and Cavani. That'd be an interesting game tomorrow. But the Russians are in, you know, clear they're going to qualify now from their group by the looks of it. Um, they're in a very strong position motivationally-wise. They've got the momentum the crowd behind them. They are the hosts. It'd be good for the tournament if they go through to the next round. It'd be good for the tournament to see how far they go. Um, Egypt, looking like they're on the way out. They've Played two, lost, lost two. Uh, they've scored one goal and exceeded four. So defensively, they're not great. From set plays, they look a little bit shaky from corners and crosses and set plays. 
Colombia have an uphill task. Japan are in a slow position. Uh, Senegal in a very good position. They showed a lot of good good promise today, a lot of pace and energy. They've got to work on the end product a little bit, but they took their chances today. Poland, uphill struggle as well, with a very talented squad, with, led by Levin, Robert Lewandowski. Um, that's a very talented Polish squad. Uh, would expect better from them, but we shall have to see what happens. Uh, obviously, I'll be able to catch some of the games tomorrow, not all. Uh, but there's, I'm going to be able to catch most of Uruguay, Saudi Arabia, which I think is the game of the day that I will actually want to watch because I want to see Suarez and Cavani and see if they can actually turn up today. Um, because that Saudi defence looks really wide open to have six, seven, eight goals put past them. And I'm looking to see if the, the, the Uruguayans can do that. If they labour like they did against Egypt, that could be a long toil for them. So I'll be interested to see how the, the Uruguayans set up and how Suarez and Cavani work together. We're really looking forward to that for the third World Cup in a row. Anyway, I'll leave that there. I was going to do a video on each each game, but time constraints, so I decided to condense it into into one for today. And that's going to be my videos for today. It's just too late, too tired. There are, there are other sports stories to talk about, and I will discuss them uh, over the next few days when I get some time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.